Rowling, Rowling, thank you. Thank you for coming out. Uh, I just want to take just a couple minutes. I know everybody's been here a while. So, first off, um, coming out and gathering like this has an amazing psychological effect on the people that are being arrested, the ones that are having to deal with the police up there. Having been on that end before, I know what it feels like. You feel as if you're abandoned. You feel as if you're fighting overwhelming odds. You feel as if everything is against you. But then when you get that news that starts to trickle in, that people are standing up for you, people are coming out and showing support, people are showing they care about your cause and what you're doing, it reinvigorates you. for the good. So remember that now when we come together with this, we're helping to empower the spirits and the people out there and they're standing and doing an honorable thing. So I want you to think about that because I hope we see more actions. I hope that we come together like this more and more. It's putting pressure on the government and it's reminding our people, it's reminding those that are there in the thick of the fight that we have their back. speak a little bit on this idea about the soldier law, about their sovereignty, because this is critical. This is a really important piece. When we hear about the idea of Canadian rule of law on indigenous land that's unceded, we have to see that for what it is. It's all about invasion and occupation. How does somebody say they could come into your territory and your law no longer exists? How can you say that we no longer have to listen to your leaders? Shame! The only way somebody could say that is if they believe that they are more advanced, that they are superior, that for some reason that their way, their system, and their laws are better than yours, and that they believe they can impose them on the people there. Now, we talk about being in a, a society that's democratic, democratic and based on conditions of conditions of fairness and equality, then it just doesn't fit. You have to see the Wisconsin people as less and inferior than you if you claim you can impose your law on them. And that's not the case. So when people start to argue about the rule of law, what about Wisconsin law? We should not be seen their people subjected to colonial law and colonial oppression. We should not see the hereditary chiefs being pushed away, being told that they no longer have power and authority in their own lands. That is nothing more than the idea of invasion and occupation. Today is just another act of 500 year war. And our people are standing up and showing that the fight is not over. Acknowledge and honor them for what they're doing and really really happy that everybody came out to be able to help support like this and I hope to see you again.